Oh shoot, I was thought I forgot I was in the middle of a B-side. But I'm mostly at a checkpoint, so I can just quit out like that. And we can pretend that nothing ever happened. Oh, we don't have to leave this in now, RNA. So, I mean, we've been making a trend of sampling each of the B-sides before I go back and complete them. And only leaves one B-side left. Uh, call it procrastination, but give me another minute, because I want to adjust some things like that timer and all that. Oh, I just realized the English icon is a Canadian flag, because this game was made by Canadians, and from what I've learned, Celeste Mountain is actually based on a mountain in Canada. That's cute. Ooh, baby. Got the recording going, got my commentary going. Let's just jump right into it. No more running. How fitting. So, if the B-sides are hardcore mode of everything we've done up to this point, God forbid, what a B-side of everything we've learned is going to entail, and then, uh, this first room looked easy, and then I realized you have to go in between the spikes, something I've been trying to avoid this entire playthrough, and like, eh, we may not even make a checkpoint on this one, I gotta be honest. And I guess that's part of why I decided, like, I'm not promising that I'm gonna complete every single B-side. But then again, didn't I say something very similar when we were in the ruins? I think I did. So, I'm gonna reserve full judgment of whether or not I should keep going or going. For when I actually get to it, and like, oh, why? How? Two dashes is just not enough. Oh, man. Now, I'm not quite sure about this music, but... Like, it's nice! Hasn't really picked up to the levels I'm used to yet. Um, Cause like, I dash forward, that's one dash. Dash up, that's two dashes, and I still don't have an- Oh, there's a wall! There's a wall I can cl grab onto that I've been overlooking this whole time. But I guess that's what happens when you actually take the time to think and don't try to brute force your way for everything. I don't like how we're already getting the win? in the background, which means the wind can come up anytime, even like before it properly shows up in this chapter to frickin' screw me over in every shape imaginable! Yay! Oh, speaking of not paying attention, I really need to pay attention. Now I actually have to talk! <laughs> it's a little hard to think about what to talk about though, cause just like... Everything that's been on my mind are very current events that are gonna be very outdated by the time this goes out. I guess I shouldn't let that stop me because that has definitely not stopped me in the past, but... Also because of like the commentary I've been doing today, my voice is a little worn out. So I'm a little, you know, a little worried about like... Talking too much. I know it's weird, um, why am I doing commentary if I'm worried about talking, but like, I wasn't, I'll be honest, <laughs> half the B-sides have just evolved into like musical montages or just like focusing on the areas until I beat them. Oh man, yeah, there's that beat that I was looking for, that, that high point. It took a really long time for it to pick up though, but hey, it's here. The awesome part of the B-side is here. <laughs> we gotta have it in every single thing. But maybe... Well, backtrack time. I hate this! I hate this! Oh my god, I hate this in the most passionate way possible. This is 
so dickish. Like, this is like Pikmin 2 dickish, and I mean, I, I should have really pumped up my curse and all the way back in the first B-side, because I mean, like, apparently we're not allowed to be kid-friendly anymore, according to the government. I mean, there's way more to it, like, it's from, but there's way too, too much more into it than I could possibly understand. The very basics, like, I feel like, I feel like in the end I'll be fine and I'm over worrying about it all. Because I feel like it's geared more towards content being sold towards kids rather than kid-friendly, if that makes any sense. Like a video, like something that's family friendly, isn't necessarily kid friendly. And I think like Disney and a lot of Nintendo IPs are good examples of that. Because you can have something that is appropriate for children without it like being for children. Like something that's appealing for adults and children is what I'm both going to. And I will continue to talk about that because. <laughs> That topic I was on was something very well worth tangenting, and I to the point where people can learn from it. So I'm willing to sabotage my own tangent to tell the audience at home to take notes. What was I on? <laughs> oh yeah, curse! I can say the F word as much as I want now, but I mean F word is kind of like never really been in my vocabulary unless of around people I'm very comfortable with, or like, it's an environment specifically geared around intentionally swearing. And I don't really feel like my channel is either of that, so I'll just have to settle with crap and... Hell, hell's a weird one, because like, I am a little religious, so it's not that I think that it's taboo to say hell, but it actually means something, like, it's not just like a negative context, there, it's, you're literally talking about the worst thinking of the worst place in the world, and then, like, emphasize that. Nothing on planet Earth can truly replicate hell. There's things in this planet that sure darn seem close, but that's only because your moral com- your feeble moral mo mor mortal. Why am I saying moral- why am I mixing up moral and mortal of all things? <sighs> Mere mortals just- don't know what hell is, and I speak of that like I even know what hell is, but I'm just like giving you an excuse to give me chill if I like start calling anything hell. Like even the B size I called heck not hell. C size we'll see. C size C size I may just call hell for funny haha -ha man moments. And I know like I'm way behind the times most people don't consider hell or even crap swears anymore. I mean, I g let me take baby steps, please. I've grown up in a culture where, like, you don't swear unless you need to. And, like, swearing is more so just something you accidentally do rather than just, like, something that's cool or edgy to say. So just give me time. I'm sure we're all, like, going all that soon enough. I am really liking how this level is playing out so far. Frick! I was doing so well, I did that freaking diagonal crap happen. See, I'm getting there. It's gonna take a while to get used to even saying crap, but I'll get there. I'm gonna have to remember, like, make the video this tagline for this video. I say crap. Hold on a moment. I'm getting used to it. I already forgot the pro tagline I was gonna use. But maybe just I'll think of it eventually when we get through this. Jack says crap, but he doesn't say it well. Maybe we'll go with that for now. Man, that was just the first area. I mean, it didn't feel too bad. That was like the prologue area. We're in like the chapter one equivalent now. But I mean, like. I'll admit, that beginning part just did not look fun. This looks fun. Like, using momentum jumping to, like, where you have to use momentum jumping, but you can't, like, go all the way over to the other side, otherwise you're screwed. There's a... Actually, maybe the see the secret is to not momentum jump at all. 
yeah, that actually seems like a lot easier than <laughs> the crud I was trying to do. Like I said, it's gonna take time to get me get me used to having crap in part of my vocabulary. And like, I do work in an environment where swearing is not custom because we have like guests and clients and all that. So maybe I shouldn't get too used to saying crap. Maybe just like just enough to like tell the old boomers in the government, hey, I'm not marketing myself towards children. In fact, I'd rather not market myself at all, because Google's not giving me money anyways. The only people marketing is Google. And I should get back off that topic before <laughs> I regret it. So... I can't believe it takes taking me this long to actually play Celeste in the winter. So, like, the snow actually means something. And I just realized that snow, not wind, but, like, it's too many flashbacks from Chapter 5, and I guess I'm definitely doing something wrong. It only took me, like, 15,000 attempts to realize that this was wrong. And yeah, I did anyways, but at least I'm learning. Yeah, okay. That gave me enough momentum to work with, so I do got a semi momentum jump, and I feel like I got trolled hard here because I got used to a pattern, and then they broke away from it. Some could argue that's game design. Okay, wow, I have to do that. I probably didn't even need that. Like, I... I could have done that. Have way more dashes than I need. Or maybe exactly what I mean, because this is a B-side. I should know better than to think that I'll have dashes to spare. Okay, what kilometer mess do I gotta get myself out of this time? Got conveyors and move up and down. Where you have to land way too close on spikes, or I guess instead of on the side of that one, I could land on top. I'm sure that'll have its own problems. Got dashed precisely through a floor ceiling combo of spikes. I there's gotta be a word for the combination of a floor and a ceiling, but it's not in my vocabulary today. Mound jump for that. Do some more bowl. <laughs> Do some more bowl. And that's not even the end of the room. Like, probably gotta use some momentum to like have enough dash to get from this mess and And at least at the end, it's as simple as just As I was saying, at least it's as simple as momentum jumping right at the end and dash upward. Do I know what I'm doing? No. But I made a plan, so maybe a part of my subconscious does. Frick! <laughs> I forgot that ceilings could crush you. I'm not ready to die today. <laughs> at least not that way. How did that work? How did that not work? Why? So, I'm trying to... Maybe I... I was trying to get over to the corner, to the side there, and there's the crush from above that I was also dreading. I'm surprised it took me that long. <laughs> oh, dumb ways to die. Transition, oh my, <laughs> my death. It's okay if you don't believe me about not trying to have well-timed deaths. I'm not even believing myself anymore. <laughs> Keep in point. Well, at least it's not instant death if you screw up in a lot of these. Like, can I just jump over and then wall jump down there? Yes! And then I just dash up and... Not so bad of a room. Where the heck do I go? <laughs> Where there's gotta be like a secret spring or somewhere because my dash does not go that far. I think it'll just barely be enough if I go diagonals. But that would require this not having sp falling. F this required this falling down and not having spikes on top. I don't believe the game. That seems way too nice for the game developers, but like I have some way to do this. 
Well, there was spikes on top, but turns out I didn't even need it. Frick. Okay, so this should not be hard at all. Maybe I do have to. Oh, I really don't want to use both of my dashes there, though. Because I'm pretty sure I'll need them. I'm so glad I decided to do this. I'll admit I was very much on edge about actually do. Why? Why there? Why right at the end? As I was saying, I'll admit, like. I was a little hesitant about doing this tonight just because it's late already and I've done so much commentary already. But man, it's been so long since I've played the Celeste B side. Like, I pretty much, like, caved and actually did some of my own. played some of my own on a different file just so I could actually play tonight because I did not think I would actually be able to record with everything else going on. And honestly, I shouldn't be recording because I'm so far ahead with Celeste. <laughs> and, like, as I'm recording this, I'm supposed to have a game and chill this next week, and I don't have a game and chill. And I just realized, give me a sec, I need to actually take in my surroundings, and you guys have seen this as I'm talking. So, spring over there. Okay, this doesn't look as bad. I did not need to spend that much time in analyzing, I'm pretty sure I would have just gotten it a lot quicker if I just went for it. No, I was way too eager to get over to the other side. I and only to realize, it, once it hits the ground, I got as much time to do this as I got stamina. Crut. I'm going back for the spring. But that made me realize, like, I could probably do that section without a dash. Which is amazing, because it's a B-side. But hey. We're back here, I'm gonna go for it. We're all gonna be happy one way or another. Even if I'm a dumb. Fuck. Man, I wasn't sure. I can see why they put that section there. I wasn't sure they have enough stamina. Really? Well, at least I'll have full pink hair going up here. Save me, Balan! I, I mean, I know she's got business up ahead to do, getting us getting prepped for my upcoming arrival. But I could really use her help for this, like, just by being down there and supportive until I've figured out what the heck I'm supposed to do. You know what? I could just stand on top. Why am I trying to, like, conserve a dash? I just do that. I forgot this is not the mirror temple. You can't just stand on there and dash when you're ready. Well, at least it won't take too long to get back there. Well, thanks for being there at just the right time. Oh my god. How have I not hit a spike? That's an interesting concept. For hell. Wow, I'm actually getting used to saying hell a lot quicker than I thought I would. Maybe because I've gone down there about 10 thousand times. If in-game lies are anything to keep by. Alright, uh, feel like I wasted a dash way too soon. Oh man. Uh, I think... I'm, I'm fine with the dashes. It's just dealing with very narrow grapples, places to hold on to, whatever the word is. This is like... Uh, this, is, this is a... This is a challenge in a way I don't like when we have like little tiny things to play around with, like 
I'd rather be challenged in other ways. Personal preference. I, I mean, you're, you guys are the ones making the hard level, so I shouldn't really complain about either way you want to handle it. Like, why is Ireland leaving me for the dust here? Man, like, and then, oh, frick. I feel like it's... We probably did give you just enough stamina to go for all that, too. That's the part that sucked. No, who am I kidding? The tiny, tiny grapples is what sucks. And yeah, she's up ahead. She's not coming back down. You would think I learned that sooner, earlier. In the cases I've died, expecting her to be back down. Or hoping that she'd be back down. And not let me down. Yeah, like I... Goodbye. I think the game <laughs> even stopped trying. It's like, yeah, if you're falling this far, you're gonna just hit some spikes eventually, so we're just gonna kill you now. Don't waste your stamina. I, if I can get used to not holding down R, that probably needs to be nice. Oh, wait, 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 there's a gap. I'm still a little baffled of what I saw when I reached the top of that area. There was nowhere to go. I need a momentum jump off. But it doesn't feel like enough. You know, a momentum jump to that first grabbing point. Because I need every ounce of stamina I can get for that stupid section alone. And maybe it's just me, but I think like stamina up challenges in particular can sometimes feel a little BS. One of the few things I find BS in this game. But at least it took me until getting to the B side to start complaining about it. Eek, eek. Yeah, the camera knows when to kill ya. Maybe if I do that enough times, I'll get used to moon jumping. No, 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 no. Do I need to conserve both my dashes? I wish I knew that in advance. Um, come back? Come back? Whew. For future reference, if I need her to come back, real. That's how I quote unquote respawn her. That's very good information to know. I wish the sound of my eyes shutting as tight as they did just then was visible on a mic. It's like. It's a very impactful face I make. Not visually appealing or funny, just impactful. Like, I still feel my eyelids against my eyes from how much I closed them. It almost happened again. This time was like maybe a couple seconds shorter. And that time there was none. I'm kind of getting numb to this, aren't I? I can, like, I don't need both dashes. I don't know why I would bother not using both dashes. I get them back right over here, but the fact that it's possible to do with one dash gives me the feeling that I can, like, pull, use that knowledge to do something more technical that I'll have to do in the future. Okay, so I do need a dash, but if I save one dash for the very top there, I'm good. Okay, that was all I really need to know. Now I have ten times more confidence going through that area. Granted, I probably need a dash just to get started on this, but I need to grab there and jump over, not wall jump, because I'm trying to conserve some stamina by flat out wall jumping and not holding down the grab button at all. In theory, in my head, it doesn't matter if I'm holding down the R button, just as long as I press A as soon as I hit the wall I want wall jump, but this way I definitely don't spend any idle time grabbing, spending up stamina, etc, etc. Just gotta remember, hold down there. Frick. I think I got the pattern now, at least.
Okay, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. I panicked it. I screwed it up. Of all ways to screw it up, why did it have to be that way? Okay, I definitely didn't need a dash for that section. I mean, this is very trivial knowledge that I've gotten myself trapped on, but hey, we did it! Probably gonna hit a checkpoint here, which will make this a good wrist stop. Why are you still moving forward, okay? You need to get ready for bed! Stop moving forward! You're gonna spend another half hour on the level if you don't. Okay, I'm taking a break. We got a long time until I get caught up in this recording, I just wanted to play tonight. Oh, that's cool. I thought she was looking- I guess she- I guess you could interpret this by her looking up, but it also looks like she's shrugging her shoulders when I just press up. Or... I mean, I'm not gonna ruin this hopeful game by... Playing bro... Not to it, but it does look kind of like she's grooving, I can say that much. She looks like she's kind of just... Adds the whole groove thing you can do with just abusing the up and down buttons. A realization just came to my brain. The final section of the normal level is way harder than all these other sections that are just pretty much recaps of levels we've been through before. So this is not a fair sample. The real challenge just begins at the end, so do I like stop here while I have sanity and complete the other B-sides? Do I complete this B-side while it's fresh in my head? Well, considering it'll probably be a couple weeks before I record again, everything won't be fresh in my head anymore, and we'll just... I guess I'll just see how I feel in the next recording session.